Uh, so Richard Ford the third, um, illustrator, graphic designer, graffiti artist uh, from Detroit, now living here in New York uh, for over it's almost ten years. So. Because I'm from Detroit, uh, Detroit Techno. Also, because I lived in Chicago for a little bit, Chicago house, like pretty much anything from home, I love playing, but I love pretty much everything that is house or techno or electronic. Um, as long as it sounds good, I, I love playing it. Um, so, I may have listened to a few uh, K-pop uh, here and there. Um, J-pop definitely, like, rock. Um, like, my music taste, uh, I love everything. But DJing, it's it's a little bit easier for, like, house and techno. But, like, I pretty much love anything that sounds, sounds great. My favorite is Derek May. Um, I'm actually... The shirt that I'm wearing, I got in Detroit, and I love wearing this shirt. I wear it too much, actually. Um, I got this shirt when I actually met Derek. Um, so it's a long story of like a friend of mine is a friend of his, like during the time of creating like uh, techno. So he's known him for years, and I did a painting, a digital painting of Derek, like maybe the year before, and he's like, "Well, we have to get." physical copy to Derek so a lot of planning and whatnot and finally um, for this event uh, Homeless Homeless uh, I met up with him gave him the painting and we just talked for quite some time so actually kind of like hung out for a minute and you know a mutual friend actually arrived also so it was probably like one of the best best days of my life so Um, so I was there with my girlfriend and we were just eating dinner and uh, Chokin, uh, he like saw me drawing and I think he's like, oh, if you want to draw on the, the wall, like the space, like just not the space where it is now, but just in the seating area. I was like, oh, sure. And I just drew a little bit with my markers and then um, either my girlfriend mentioned it, or maybe myself. I had a wall in uh, on Houston, like that I had uh, finished like the summer before. And he's like, "Oh, if you want to like spray, like maybe we can get something here at Desu." So uh, they set up the tarp and everything, and I just did like the iras and or the illustration, and like it was pretty much. Oh, uh, so I've been drawing since I was very young, uh, so pretty much all my life. And then once I went to college, that's when I started doing like traditional classes. I went to Columbia in Chicago and I studied illustration. And so at the time, they taught us traditional illustration. Uh, so actual drawing with like pencil, charcoal, and you know, then maybe towards the senior year, we had like the uh, software, you know, introduction like Photoshop and uh, Illustrator, um, pretty much the entire Adobe suite. And from there, once we graduated, we were kind of on our own to teach ourselves. I would say anime, I discovered that it was actually anime, maybe in middle school. Um, but at the time, it was like classic shows that maybe my dad watched. He just watched like the animation shows. Um, so uh, I forgot the name in Japanese, but it's uh, Speed Racer. Um, he's, he has like the white car with like the number five on there. So he grew up watching that and then they would show reruns. And then I was like, oh, this is cool. But the animation is very different. It's different than like what I was watching at the time. I just thought it was American cartoon until you see the names at the end. And then it's like, oh, this is from a different country. And then high school, I discovered manga. And, and of course, more anime. 
and then you find out like oh this is from Japan and then I started to read collect more watch way too much and then also uh, video games as well so pretty much a lot of pop culture from Japan influenced my style that is probably the hardest question I think manga um, unfortunately the artist just passed away uh, it was berserk um, and so that manga is very detailed so it was one of my favorites because I love fantasy um, with anime I think Kuri Kuri is probably my favorite. Um, the first first season, so the original. One. Um, so very short, six episodes, but the style was amazing. And it's actually the first time that uh, for anime that I saw something that showed kind of slice of life a little bit. So you saw the environment and the like the setting of Japan like a modern day Japan. So I really wanted to go in and say, yeah. Actually, I didn't feel that way because I, I, I knew in my head that anime and like real life were like separate. Um, also, there was there's a lot of things that are from Japan that you can find here in New York. So when I arrived, it, I wasn't as surprised, which was kind of sad for me. And then once you sort of explore and go deeper, then I found like some really cool stuff that was like, oh, this is this is great. Like, even architecture or just walking in like neighborhoods, it's like completely different. So I think I got more of a shock from that as opposed to like, oh, I found this vending machine with like all this crazy stuff or like this food or something like that. Yes, so 2018 was the year that uh, two friend, two artist friends of mine, we collaborated together to do a group show. Um, so everything was out of pocket, so we just put all our money together, rented the space, and then like transported our artwork on the plane with us and like just set up the show and you know had a pretty good time, so it was great. Um, so last year, uh, sort of around like the, I think like the summertime, uh, Japan Society, actually a friend of mine rec had recommended me to Japan Society to teach um, their manga class. So they reached out and, you know, they saw examples of my work and they were like, we would love for you to teach, you know, our classes. Um, so we'll do kind of like a test to see like your teaching, like your teaching style, and uh, they like when I teach for like the beginner and sort of intermediate. Um, so I've just been working with them like off and on. So currently we just finished like a summer session, and then later this year we'll have another uh, sort of like full uh, classes like once a week. Mm -hmm. so